In today's video, we're going to dive into the exciting world of one of Figma's latest feature, variables. Specifically, we'll be creating a mobile dial pad using this powerful new feature. My name is Jacqueline and this is IKEA Designs. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Now, let's get started. To follow along this tutorial, click the link in the description below to load the Figma community file. Then open in Figma and go to the follow along page to access the designs used in this tutorial. Deselect everything on the canvas and click on open variables. Then create a new string variable. This variable, which we'll name as dialed number, will hold the numbers we enter on the screen. We'll create another variable called memory num, which will hold the number of characters in the string. Using the text tool, create a text and adjust its properties. Press Shift A to add an auto layout and add a maximum width of 400 pixels and select the clip content checkbox. Select the text and click on the apply variable icon and assign the dialed number variable. Then remove the string value to leave its value empty. Select the one keypad and switch to prototype. Click the plus to add interaction and click the plus to add a set variable action. Then set the dialed number to dialed number plus a string of one. Click on the plus icon again to set the memnum variable to an increment of one. Click on the frame and press shift spacebar to open a quick preview. When you click one, one appears and the memory num variable increases by one as well. The next thing we're going to do is add the interaction to all the other keypads. To do that, we we'll copy the interaction from the one keypad and select all the other keypads and paste the interactions. Then we'll go to the individual keypads to make the adjustments of the string according to the number on the keypad. Now, each key we enter on the dial pad appears in the space. Great, so the next thing we like to do is to erase everything we've entered and re-enter new values. To do that, we select the backspace icon and then click plus to add a new interaction. Then set the variable dial number to an empty string. Then we we'll also set the memory num variable to zero, which means everything will be reset once the backspace is tapped. Now we can enter values and delete them and then re-enter new values. The next thing we're going to do is to make the icons below appear only when a keypad has been tapped. To do that, we'll create a new boolean variable called icons appear and assign it to both the backspace icon and the google meet icon. To do that, select the backspace icon and right click the eye icon and assign the boolean variable to it. Then select the google meet icon right click the eye icon once again and assign the boolean variable to it once again you realize in the local variable dialog you can set the icon to either true or false which turns on and off the icons we'll switch to prototype with one selected click on the one prototype setting and add a conditional logic we'll then set the if to mem number greater than zero and icons appear equal to false.
then we'll add an action by setting icons appear variable to true now you realize when you click on one the icons appear we want the icons to appear when any of the keypads are pressed so to do that we'll copy the prototype setting of keypad one and then select the rest of the other keypads delete the previous interaction setting and paste the new setting then we'll go into each keypad to adjust the string setting based on the number on the keypad Another thing we'd also like to do is to make the Backspace and Google Meet icons disappear when the values inputted are erased. To do that, first we'd have to go to the local variables and turn on the icons. Then select the Backspace icon and switch to Prototype. In the Backspace interaction, we'll add a new action by setting the icons appear variable to false. Finally, we'll go into the local variable and turn off the icons. Now, you realize that when we click on the dial pads, the icons appear and when we click on backspace, they disappear. Our next improvement would be to make our number actually dial once we've entered our numbers and clicked on the call button. To do that, we'll first copy the dialed number from the color one and then paste it on the color two then select the color icon and switch to prototype click the plus to add an interaction and then add a conditional logic in the if space set the mem num variable to greater than zero and add the action of navigating to the next frame this logic basically means that when numbers are entered and the color button is pressed, it should switch to the next frame. But if no numbers are entered and the color button is pressed, then nothing should happen. For the final thing, select the text and set its color to white. Select the frame and press shift space to preview. Now you realize after you've entered your numbers and pressed on the color button it actually starts dialing that's it guys if you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content don't forget to watch the other videos on the channel thank you for watching